ladies and gentlemen, President and Chief Executive Officer of the Consumer Electronics Association, Gary Shapiro. Good morning and welcome to our final big stage keynote of this year's International CES. We'd like to finish with some big news from a big name in the industry. And you certainly can't get much bigger than Samsung Electronics. Samsung is one of the top technology companies in the world and recently ranked by Interbrand as the ninth most valuable brand in the world. And that's up from 17th in 2011. You know, as a global technology leader, Samsung is constantly introducing new products to predict future demand as well as to meet the current needs of the consumer. Samsung employs more than 200,000 people across 72 countries. It operates nine independent business units, including today's keynote presenters, Samsung's electronics device solutions, the world leader in advanced semiconductor and display solutions for the IT industry. These great leaps forward are taking user experiences and industry possibilities into exciting and new territory. Now, pivotal to all great new devices and applications are, of course, great components. Samsung Electronics Device Solutions is delivering component innovation at an unprecedented rate. As a president at Samsung Electronics, Dr. Stephen Wu leads a tremendous team that is working hard to build on and accelerate that incredible momentum, catalyzing a whole new era for the electronics industry, especially in mobile device solutions. Steven has been at the forefront of electronics innovation his entire career. Before joining Samsung in 2003, he held senior and management positions at Bell Labs, at Sandsearch, which was a startup company he founded, and at Texas Instruments. His enthusiasm for the field is clear, and he is so devoted to developing innovations that meet industry needs. Samsung's device solutions revenues are a testament to that. In the third quarter of 2012 alone, Samsung device solutions posted over $16 billion in revenue. So whether as a research scientist, manager, or leader of a global enterprise, Stephen remains at the heart a passionate geek who loves this industry. And he relishes every opportunity to take it to new heights through component innovation. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our keynote today, Dr. Stephen Wu. Thank you. Thank you. And break a leg. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you, Gary. Good morning, everyone. What an amazing place this is, and what an awesome show. And what an inspiring community CES attracts every year. Thank you for welcoming me as part of this great community. I'm here to share great news, news about component innovation. Innovation that spawned, spans multiple categories but shares one goal mobilizing possibility. At Samsung's component business, we are all about taking big ideas off the drawing board and making them real, putting them in the hands of manufacturers and eventually users, delivering the components our industry needs to start a whole new era of mobile experiences. Today, I will focus on three areas with major implications for many mobile devices. <clears throat> you will learn how advances in processing are driving the whole rethink of device capability. You will hear how new memory solutions are speeding up data response times while saving energy. You will see display technology with new form factors previously seen only in science fiction. And you will learn about new ideas and a new focus on mobilizing possibility for all the world's people. By the end of this hour, I hope you will share our vision, a vision of a world with limitless possibility. 
<clears throat> the electronics industry has been fortunate. Global consumers have eagerly adopted our mobile technologies and welcomed new advances. Right now, there are more than 6 billion mobile devices in use. And last year alone, over half a billion smartphones were sold. Now, as users become more attached to their devices, they also become more sophisticated in their desires. They notice the slightest improvements in weight, size, speed, battery life, and form factor. And manufacturers know they are unnoticed to deliver. Look at what you can see on the expo floor this week in Las Vegas. We see that the battle of innovators has intensified. And yet, amid this proliferation of exciting products, we see that our industry's center of gravity is and remains mobile devices. Today, we see devices that place enormous focus on the ease and simplicity of user experience. But what is driving these advances? Their components. As a mobile device user, you probably don't think about components very often, and that's okay. It means manufacturers and developers are de delivering great experiences on that outermost layer, the world that you see and touch and enjoy every day. But if you want to see where the real action occurs and where our industry is going, you must pull back that top layer. We must dive deep inside our devices to the world where the magic happens. Components determine our ability to meet and to exceed consumer expectations. Components are building blocks. <coughs> Components are the foundations on which devices are built. And we at Samsung Component Solutions are creating new, game-changing components across all aspects of devices. We take a comprehensive approach creating total solutions. Fundamentally, we believe the right component DNA drives the discovery of what's possible. It's a journey we are on in collaboration with our partners and customers. So today, I invite you to join Samsung in mobilizing a new world of possibility, building your vision with Samsung components. Okay, let's start at the heart of the smart mobile device, its processor. Last year, Samsung introduced the Exynos brand of application processor. Our first Exynos product, the Exynos 4 Quad, proved to be a hit with the industry. Incorporating the four cores of the most advanced processor available, the Exynos 4 Quad offered unprecedented levels of PC-like performance. 
allowing tablet and smartphone users to perform several tasks at once without compromising speed, all while they enjoyed seamless graphics performance. Many of you have likely seen these benefits for yourselves. In less than a year, Samsung's Exynos four quad application processors have been sold in more than 53 million devices. And last year, we added Exynos 5 Dual into our Exynos lineup. It's the processor behind this, that Chromebook and this Nexus 10 by Google. You see, Google had lots of options in processor selection. But in order to stand out in the mobile device market, they needed to use the best performing application processor, a processor that could support the best display resolution WQXGA. Our Exynos 5 Duo, based on ARM's top-of-the-line processor, is the only solution powerful enough to support that level of display resolution. So the choice was simple, and users could see the difference. Ebooks, photos, and even full HD playback became more lifelike than ever. Now, we are inspired to do even more, even better. The question that keeps me up at night is, how can we increase processing power while decreasing energy consumption? Well, I can report I have been sleeping pretty well lately because we have leveraged the benefits of Exynos 4 Quad and Exynos 5 Dual to create the next breakthrough for our Exynos lineup, the Exynos 5 Octa. <laughs> the Exynos 5 Octa introduces a whole new concept in processing architecture. An architecture that includes two sets of four cores each. An architecture that gives you all the power you want to run intensive applications, but is smart enough to conserve energy when running more basic tasks. Ultimately, we are saving energy and prolonging battery life. So, let's see what the processing power of Exynos 5 Octa will allow devices to do. We built this reference device incorporating Exynos 5 Octa for this year's CES. This device is intended to show the amazing possibility the Exynos 5 Octa offers. One key difference is the level of pure processing power never seen before in a mobile device. Not just for individual applications, but for heavy duty multitasking as well. Say, I wanted to do a quick web search for a good dinner spot tonight. I could load that page. I could simultaneously download an app to make a reservation and retrieve GPS and mapping information, all without a lack or disruption of any of the applications. The Exynos 5 Octa. <laughs> Perhaps the most powerful multimedia performance can be seen in 3D games. The Exynos 5 Octa provides 3D performance that is twice as good as any previous generation processors, including the Exynos 4 Quad. Here to demonstrate that 3D performance is VP, the head of the mobile platform at EA, Glenn Rowland. Thank you, Dr. Wu. Good morning. The first thing I want you to appreciate about the new Exynos 5 is a level of pure processing power never seen before in a mobile device. 
And this is not just for individual applications. It's also for heavy multitasking. It's also not just down to the speed of the processor. This capability is going to become more critical in the future as mobile applications with 3D gaming image processing become available. Let's see the Exynos 5 in action on my Samsung reference device.